A quick note before the video actually starts, I suck at recording. There's always something that goes wrong, and this time it's the audio. Somehow the game audio didn't record at all. So I hope having to listen to my voice for however long this video ends up being isn't too bad. The editing is also faster than usual, since I can't rely on the game's ambience to patch over uh, quiet bits. Anyway, enjoy! Hello, and uh, welcome back to some more Carleen. Previously, we didn't actually go very far. It felt like we went farther. Hmm. But we've mostly got trails, I think, to go through. Let me check. Oh, we didn't even have a combat style selected. That's a little embarrassing. Oh, I'm, I'm using a loop of rope to hold a mini carbine. Wow, that's kind of embarrassing. I'm also wearing a back filthy backpack and a sling pack. Interesting. I made some interesting choices previously. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. She's apparently not in a good mood. Why are we? Un why are you unhappy? Filthy gear and time spent alone. Right. Minus twenty one. Hmm. Well, you know what makes me happy? Just uh, alcohol. <laughs> alcohol, baby. <laughs> Perk you right up. <laughs> I grabbed a lot of garbage. <laughs> oh, wow. This feels like coming back to uh, to an old coding project and then just like wondering what the fuck is going on. <laughs> like what? What kind of insane person made these choices? Like what? I don't need the matches. Or really the bone needle either. Do I need these tools? Better safe than sorry, but do I need to be this safe? I don't need two smartphones either. Man, I, I, I sure made some capital C choices, didn't I? It's 10 a.m. Our goal is to get to the evacuee center. And then I think once you've done that, we've won. Uh, we've won the evacuee challenge, I guess. It's not really a challenge, but Carleen will be free to go wreak, wreak havoc on whatever authority structures she can get her grimy little mitts on. Um, so I guess we'll go through here. We'll hit up to the three trailheads that we pass along the way. And then we'll have to cut through the forest here to get to this long winding path. And then there's probably a trailhead here and maybe even, um, I don't know, maybe something else there too. We'll have to see. Have I used the trail guide? I have. So I guess let's get going. Ooh, a vehicle. No toilet goodies. Always a disappointing thing when that happens. Ooh, a little rest stop. Snacks. <laughs> someone, someone forgot something important. I wonder if they noticed. Do you think they noticed? <laughs> Box of cheese pizzas. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cheese pizza and the gullet right away. Thank you. Hot sauce. No, Carlene doesn't really like spicy food. Wait, does Carlene have any driving skill? No, she's too young to drive. If we get a car, that might lead to some interesting things happening. More trail maps. Even though Carlene doesn't need it, uh... Oh, lockpicking practice. Sure, why not? I was looking at lockpicking. Yes. Two hours. Already 10% of the way learning lockpicking. Wow. Must be easy. Wonder if someone could even make a whole YouTube channel about lockpicking. Like the, uh... Lockpicking legalist, or... Security dismantling specialist, something like that. <gasps> Another one. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Two copies of the same trail guide. Well, you never know. I mean, maybe it was overkill, but you know, it's just so fun to smash them. What about you? Food truck? Food truck. Before I loot it, does it function? Oh, is Carlene gonna get a car? Oh, that's dangerous. 
oh, but she can't drive it to her destination. No. Aw. Well, that's disappointing. You know what? I think Carlene would try anyway. <laughs> Aww. No, I have to try that. Cookies! Get a cookie now. Nice. Why are we unhappy? You ate a cookie. Why are you sad? Filthy gear and spend time alone. Enjoyed a cookie. Look, it's right there. It's responsible for most of her positive mood. <laughs> I mean, cookies, right? What is wrong with her head? Is that what the headlamp looks like? Or is that what the headlamp looks like over the hoodie? That's a little uncool, Carly, and I gotta be real with you. Oh, but the hard leg guards, they make you look real intimidating. So you do have that going for you, Carlene. Don't worry. And we don't need you anymore. Um, I also don't need... I think I have some tobacco on me. I don't really need that. Oh, but would, no, Carlene would keep it just because she thinks it's cool. <laughs> Can't get rid of it. I don't want it. Carly. Well, you know, now that I've been reminded of it, she would just probably chew it. <laughs> Let's take a stimulant, an addicting stimulant, why not? Oh, a skunk. Those skunks can't tell me what to do, I've got a gun. Um, it looks like the skunk is in the way. But, you know, cool as Carlene is, as cool as she thinks she is, you know, no one's very cool when they smell like skunk butt. So many forageables. So little will to do anything about it. Oh, litter. Rock on. <laughs> Rock on. Screw you, authority. We're above nature. Oh, I got lost. Uh, I didn't mean it, nature, I swear. No, actually, I had a brain think. You as a weapon. Oh, that might actually be my best weapon. Or the meat cleaver. Ooh, yeah, way better. Crowbar apparently does not um, compare to things that are literally designed to convert flesh into small, chewable pieces. I guess we'll wield the meat cleaver. Um, and I guess we'll just drop the crowbar? Do I not have a belt on? I don't have a belt. A little disappointing. <laughs> Fingerless gloves, oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot about those. <laughs> Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Isn't that a threat? Okay, maybe the, the cartoon dust mask with, like, the big goofy grin maybe undermines it a little bit. Um, uh, but, you know, you get, the, you get the point. You get the point. Newspaper page. It came from beyond. <laughs> it was a normal day for Margaret. Normal, that is until a thundering crash in her front yard nearly knocked her house over. The damn thing fell right out of space, I tell you, she told investigative journalists from our paranormal investigations department. It was glowing red hot, and it burnt my prize winning roses to a crisp. The U.S. government and Air Force have declined to comment, as usual. You know, would the tabloid people be happy or sad if the world ended due to alien invasion? Because, <laughs> you know, on one hand, not as many customers. On the other hand... You know, vindication. <laughs> uh oh. Who's that? That's a fort. Fire hardened spear, you know? Hmm. Oh, there's more. Four. Four more. Okay. This is interesting. How. How to deal with this? What are you? Time Magazine. I can tell from here. I, I see it. I see it off in the distance. I'm like, yep, that's Time Magazine. I can feel it in my bones. Let's, uh, you know, just, um, just in case. <laughs> it said she was hostile to us. Oh, a little too close. But is she kind of aware of your presence? Attacking to kill. That's uh, exciting. I don't know how Carlene can tell, but I guess maybe Carlene is making some snap judgments here. 
She's like, yeah, yeah, I can see it. That's the look of someone who wants me dead. I think Carlene may also be, uh, you know, twisting the truth a little bit. I don't think she, uh, she's got a gun and she's got an itchy finger, I think, is what's going on here. That said, these are bandits. I don't like those odds. Don't have a lot of ammunition for this. Do we have more? Oh, there's another one. Wielding S and W Model 10. Okay. That's a gun, I think. What about you? Hostile ignoring. We're 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 on the course. We're liable to actually survive and get to the uh, thing of a jigger, get to the evacuee shelter. Oh, you know, Carlene might have been a bandit. She might have ended up being a bandit if things have gone differently. She might become one, but right now, these are competition. She's also not very confident about people with firearms, and she is running the heck away from here. Get me out of here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're angry. Are you following? Please don't be following. I'll be sad if you're following me. Glock 17 pistol attacking the kill. You know, what if I started running? <laughs> what if I was much faster? There's singular Migos, and then there's eight people pointing guns at you. And no matter how itchy your trigger finger, there's also the innate desire not to get splattered and then have your corpse looted for snacks. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh my gosh, look at that person. <laughs> How many is that? That's 12. Wow. That guy with the pot on the head, though. It, that looks... It's kind of embarrassing. Okay. That was a gunshot. Let's turn safe mode back on real quick. That is a big parking lot. That is a really big parking lot. What is this? You completed the achievement, Eureka. Eureka, reach a trans coast facility. Okay. That's, um, is there a party over there? Ooh, there is a whole party. Oh, there is one feature that I found out about that I didn't realize CDDA had, but I'm in love with. You can take pictures of the zombies. It's so fun. Look at this little twerp. Look at this zombie child. Photo taken. It's an awful picture, but now we have a monster manual. That's so cool. It's also completely pointless, and I don't think Carlene really cares, so we're going to ignore it for now. Are there cars up here? There are, but they're closer to the zombies. And I don't want to deal with that many zombies. <gasps> Ooh. Um, engine looks fine. The alternator is gone. Bah. Do we try to approach the other vehicles? I think we do. I mean, we can run away if things go... Can we run away from three zombies, a zombie dog, two fat zombies, one decayed zombie, and a zombie child? Maybe not, actually. <laughs> My confidence is eroding. I wonder what they're doing. Attracted by the gunshots? Turrets? Um, what are you like? Battery alternator? Everything seems fine. It's a hippie van. Carlene respects the hippies as a, you know, sort of pseudo-delinquents. They just weren't committed enough. That's her official delinquent opinion. This makes sound, I think. <gasps> We've got a car. Here's hoping Carlene doesn't immediately smash it <laughs> into the wall. Um, that might be exactly what happens. <laughs> okay, this may actually be really bad. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. I guess I need to ignore this. Air. Oh. <laughs> Carlene, what have you done? Oh, is it still functional? Oh, well, something happened. I don't feel I don't feel safe behind the wheel. Freedom! Oh dear. Um <laughs> This is insane. She's punching the zombie as she drives. <gasps> I believe in you, Carlene. There's a turn coming up, Carlene. Can you hurry it up? <laughs> oh, Carlene. Oh. Well, that was... Oh, is the car slowing down? What's happening? Oh, did we hit a tree? Oh, we're not driving. <laughs> we, we did hit a tree. <laughs> that was a lot of excitement all at once. Let's um stop driving for a moment. Well, that was, um, that was a lot. Ah. I see we lost some unnecessary parts, it would seem. Why are you unhappy, Carlene? That was so exciting. You should be on top of the world. So, we'll stop by these trailheads. That's a weird bit of road generation. Um, and just head north, basically. And we'll go slow. Actually, no, Carlene would put the pedal down. Hopefully this doesn't kill her. <laughs> She's fine. Oh, is the car? <laughs> Get the car immediately. <laughs> Boy, I sure am glad we found that car. I guess let's let's walk. I think um, <clears throat> walking. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was the plan. Um, walking is much much better anyway. <laughs> Another vehicle. Is this a tow truck? No, oh, the engine's wrong. The engine's wrong. The engine's broken. Disappointing. But not unexpected. Another map for me to steal. You shouldn't have. Oh, also. Um, let's put away our... Actually, before we put away our rifle. Can we make a sling? I need a seatbelt. I can get a seatbelt. I know just the place. Um, remove seatbelt. Just rip this thing right out. Required mechanics one. <sighs> Carlene, I'm sorry. You're too stupid. You're too dumb. Nope, oh, wait, don't forget. Check for bathroom goodies. Carlene has found lots of fun stuff on the toilets. We don't need another map. But that said... We've already gone this far. Much better. Ooh. What are you? Are you functional? Engine? Check. Car battery? Nope. <sighs> oh. What's going on over there? Is the child attacking the geese or are the goose the geese attacking the child? Those are llamas, excuse me. Why are there llamas here? A hostile zombie child. Oh that's uh that's a few. That's a few zombies. I guess they don't like llamas. You dying llama? You are. I'm sorry llama, I can't save you from this. Zombie medic, zombie child, zombie child, zombie... Yeah. You have fun. No, oh, there's quite a few of you. Okay. I'll be escaping. What is this? An orchard. I need to get to this trailhead. Oh, we're really close. Okay. Three zombie children. Oh no, is there a school tour to the orchard? Hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't want to sleep here tonight. Carlene doesn't get kids. Especially when they're zombified. Makes her feel bad about never talking to her younger nephew. And feeling bad sucks, so like, why would you even think about it anymore? We will cut across to here.
to that road. And then make sure the hunter's blind. And then I guess we'll have arrived. It's exciting. Um, we, oh, you know what? We could. We could. Why give up when you can just keep trying again, over and over again? The gas tank has a hole in it. You know, that's fine. Ha 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 ha. Can't keep a, a good bad driver down, or more specifically, out of a moving vehicle when they're just all over the place, free for the taking. That's a lot of gasoline leaking out. Oof. Jump scared. Okay, we're gonna hit we're gonna hit the tree. <sighs> Carly and <gasps> Did we make the turn? Oh no, we're crashing? No, we're good to go. Only leaving a big trail of gasoline and crashed a couple times. Wow, she turns so slow. You turn slower than you meant to. Yeah, I can tell. I can really tell. You fumble with the town car's controls. I can really tell, Carlene. Um, how long until you get to driving proficiency? I want to see how long it takes. It takes four hours. Wow, okay. Took me longer, but whatever. Maybe Carlene's a bit smarter than I am. You know, there's no way Carlene wouldn't be blasting tunes. You oversteer. How did she... Oh my gosh. She's so bad. She's so bad at driving. <laughs> Ooh. This is interesting. Finders keepers in the apocalypse. It looks about as nice as the one we have, except without the gas tank with a hole in it. Oh, it's got almost no car battery. Hello, anybody home? I've got some words to take up with you about your property. Things to do with milk. Whatever you want to do with milk, you'll probably find it in this book. I guess let's find out what to do with milk. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never wondered what I could do with milk before. There's no food here. Dirty drug. Oh. Oh, it's just mixed together. Oh, this is a lot of... This is a combination for sure. Multivitamins, homeopathic pills, diazepam. We're gonna take that. But who mixes their pills? Whoever used to live in this house, they were clearly psychopaths. Who mixes homeopathic pills with diazepam in the same container? You kind of have to wonder, what are they growing? Roses. Okay, well that's much less, um, that's much more pedestrian than I was expecting, if I'm being honest with myself here. Whoever used to live here, they were clearly a character. Oh, a horse stable. Do you think the horses are zombified already? It doesn't say zombie horses. I'm not going to approach him because horses are dangerous. It is much faster than you. A hoofed grazing anim animal, grazing mammal with a mane of hair, a sweeping tail, and a powerful looking muscles. I can't read today. A stalwart companions the humans for longer than recorded history with some effort. You should be able to get this one to trust you enough to ride it. Oof. You know, that would be really cool, but I have no confidence in Carlene having the patience for horse training. I do have complete confidence in a 17-year-old taking a picture of a horse <laughs> when they see one. It is an exceptional photograph. I'm surprised it wasn't a selfie. And I guess that's it for this farmhouse. You know, I think we're actually going to get to the evacuee shelter today. It's just right there. We've basically made it. Whoa. Okay, stop. Just stop. Please stop. We're gonna go backwards now. Okay, that's that's sharp. Okay. We're gonna go straight. Now we're gonna go forward. Hey, not a crash, nice. 
This is very stressful. <laughs> oh, that's that's a sharp turn. Okay. A straightaway pedal down. Oh, that's a turn. Break. If she knew what the ISPAM did, she'd take some right about now. And then I think we turn here. Yep. And then we get a straightaway to test out some speed. A celebratory pedal down. Oh, I did forget one element, though. Control individual engines. Well, that's cool, but also not relevant. Stereo on. Pedal down. Let's see how fast we can go. Okay, too fast. <laughs> um, I don't think we're going to collide, but I do love a mystery. Oh, she learned how to drive. Well, she still doesn't have the proficiency. She just has a higher skill. Oh, I guess the, the windshield is busted out already. Wow. Oh, I'm glad we changed lanes. Goodness. That would have been a been a fun time. You know, let's see if we can beat 100. I'm curious. 94. 95. Oh, it's slowing down. 96. Got more space till the turn. 99. We're so close. 100. Uh, that's a zombie. Time to go. Um, will we hit the trees? That's a good question. You're a zombie child? No, you're a normal zombie. Later, loser. Cool kids know how to drive. <laughs> Imagine just, like, dead sprinting down the highway and then, like, full on going in reverse <laughs> immediately after you miss your turn. Oh. Uh. We have the engine on the way in, baby. Let them know you're coming. And then break. Please break. Okay. <laughs> it's always an adventure when you don't have the driving proficiency. <laughs> Is this what victory feels like? Mission at Reach Refugee Center is successfully completed. So in the end, Carlene... Carlene actually survived. Honestly, there was a lot of points when I was pretty sure she was going to die. Um, and also, I made a lot of bad decisions on her behalf. And also on accident. So, you know. Uh, but she lived. She lived. Let's see. What what does she look like on the... Uh, let's check the journal. We gained the vehicle skill and ran over a dog. Nice. <laughs> As celebration. As celebration to the end of... Uh, at the end of the journey. Let's grab the um, smartphone. Take a selfie. Nice. I hope you have been watching what must have been a very strange road trip. What with the several car crashes, copious smashing of map displays, and pictures of horses. Maybe at some point in the future we'll end up revisiting the save to see what Carlene can get up to. Uh, but for now, uh, this is where it ends for her. Um, and the next CDDA video will be uh, with a different start. So yeah, bye. In his cardboard fort. Yeah! Victory cardboard fort.